You're joining us at the legendary Apollo Theatre in Harlem for A&E's James Brown Say It Loud documentary presented by Verizon. I got something that makes me want to shout. I had to have a determination to be somebody. He showed me what was possible. Not that I could do it, but I could dream of it. It was near and dear to our hearts to be able to show him in the light of a father, a husband, um, a humanitarian. And a godfather. A godfather of soul. A Thank godfather you so much. Of soul. I created funk. God and me. He was this amazing genius and gave so much to the world. I'm a black man. I've got to take part in my cause. i got to take part in my fight for freedom, for equality, and take a stand where it's needed. His music was incredibly important to our community, to our people. Say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. Tell the viewers how you went about directing this and achieving that unseen footage. You know, it's it, for me, the, this program really started with one question. In 1969, Look Magazine on the cover asked the question, is James Brown the most important black man in America? And I was like, wow, that is a provocative question. That's an important question to try to answer. And I wanted to answer that question. That song was dangerous, aggressive, and political. It's the original Black Lives Matter. What have you learned from the godfather of soul, Mr. James Brown? Uh, when he said, say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud, was at a time when it was almost taboo. So what we can take from that is that level of understanding of who we are and actually proceed and push forward, utilizing that energy from 2020 and translating that protest into policy. Thank you. The way I look back, I say, God, how did I get this far? This is an amazing historic documentary.